Hi, I'm Julie Sebi of the Big Mountain Analytics blog. In this video, I'm going to explain how to use Spotfire's Navigate Period node navigation method as part of my series on learning the Spotfire expression language. This video will be embedded in a blog post with more information that you can find at this link. You'll also be able to find links to all the other posts I've put out in the series. It's a great reference for learning everything you need to know about calculations and expressions in Spotfire. Let's get started with syntax. Here is a simple expression using navigate period. The first part of the expression is the aggregation method of the column we're working with. The basic aggregation is followed by the over keyword, which you must use with all node navigation methods. If you leave out over, you'll get an error. Then you get to the navigate period syntax, which is made up of four parts. Three are mandatory and the fourth is optional. After the word navigate period, I have to reference a hierarchy. I want this expression to be dynamic in case I decide to change my hierarchy. So rather than reference a hierarchy column, I will use the axis.x axis name. Axis.x will always refer to whatever hierarchy is on the x-axis, so the expression will work if I change out columns. Lastly, I just want to point out that you must use a hierarchy with node navigation methods. If you have a date column on the x-axis, you'll get an error. Let me show you. There's the error. Hierarchy x is not available. The next argument in the syntax is argument 2. According to the TIBCO help, arg2 specifies the level in the hierarchy that you should navigate up to. I find that wording a bit hard to understand, so I'll just show you by example. What you need to know about arg2 right now is that it can be specified with either an integer or a string. If you're using a date hierarchy, you can use strings like year, quarter, or month. If you're using a categorical hierarchy, use integers. My examples will all be done with date hierarchies, so I'm going to use the strings. Next, arg3 will always be an integer, either positive or negative, and it's specifying the number of steps to move sideways in the hierarchy. In other words, arg3 is how you specify things like show me data for the previous month, or show me data from three months ago. arg4 is optional. It can also be a string or an integer, and I'll show you examples of both. The TIBCO documentation says arg4 determines the level in the hierarchy to move down to. Again, I find this wording confusing, and I will clarify with examples. Before we get into examples, I want to clarify one piece of terminology that you'll encounter in the TIBCO documentation, and that is leaf level or leaf node. The leaf node is the last node or the lowest node on which the hierarchy slider is set. It is not the lowest level of your hierarchy. For example, if your hierarchy slider is set to quarter, then quarter is your leaf node. Now we can get going with some examples. Just take note, I have a cross table on the page so that you can always see what the sum of the values are for each year, quarter, and month to check your understanding. To begin, I have placed year in arg2 and zero in arg3. And my hierarchy slider is going to be set to the year. This is our starting point. What you see is the sum of values for each year. And if I move my hierarchy slider to quarter, you'll see the sum of values for the quarter and then for the month. Now, if I change my argument two to quarter instead of year, and we move the hierarchy slider again, I will still see those same monthly and then quarterly totals until I get to year, at which point I get an error. So let's pause for a second. What we have seen so far is that the syntax I used provide results that are exactly the same as if I had put sum of gas prod on the y-axis, which is what I have on the top visualization. So if the results are the same as sum of gas prod, what is navigate period really doing? And why did I get that error when I moved the slider to year? To answer that question, let's go back to the original expression with year and zero and the slider set to year. And sometimes it's a little tricky and you have to move the hierarchy sliders around and then change your syntax. So to answer that question of what is navigate period really doing, let's look at this expression. I 
have year in arg2, and because I have year in arg2, the expression is bringing in a year's worth of data and displaying it according to how the hierarchy slider is set. If the hierarchy slider is set to year, it's going to show one number for the year. If the hierarchy slider is set to quarters, it'll break the year's data up into quarters and so on. Now, if we change arg2 to quarter, what that'll do is the expression will bring in a quarter's worth data and display it monthly. If I move the slider to quarterly, it's displaying it quarterly. And if I move the slider to year, I get an error. And I get that error because I have a quarter's worth of data and I can't display that on year. So now this error makes sense. Now let's take a look at what argument three does. So I'm gonna move the slider back to month so I don't get an error and I'll change the expression to year minus one. In this case, when arg3 is minus one, it looks for the previous year's data. There is nothing previous to 2018, so those nodes are blank. And you see the values for 2018 in the 2019 nodes. And that's kind of the high level explanation of what this is doing. On a more detailed level, what the expression is actually doing is looking for the same month in the previous year. So in the January 2019 node, it's looking for the January value in the previous year. If I move the hierarchy slider to quarter, it's gonna look for Q1 in the previous year. And I think you know what to expect if I move the slider one more time over to year, and this all makes really good sense. Now, when I was learning Navigate Period, I got to this point and I thought I understood it perfectly. And so I changed year to quarter. I thought that this would show me the previous quarter's values starting in April. But instead, as you can see, the result is blank. Why is this blank? Well, it all comes down to what I was saying about how Spotfire looks for a value in the previous level of the hierarchy. When the expression is quarter minus one, which is what we have now, and your slider is set to month, which is what we have now, the expression is looking for the value of the same month in the previous quarter. So in January, Q1, it is looking for the value of January in the previous quarter. But that isn't how quarters work. The previous quarter will have values of October, November, December. There is no January, so it doesn't find any data. And this is where ARG4 becomes helpful. We need ARG4 for cases like this where we run into what I'll call nonsensical navigation of the hierarchy. To explain, I'm going to move the hierarchy slider to quarter. And we know that what's happening is the expression is pulling in the previous quarter's data and displaying it according to how the hierarchy slider is set. This is good. This works. But when we move that hierarchy slider to month, it's looking for January and Q4, and that doesn't work. So what we'll do is fix that by adding in the optional fourth argument of zero. Now, zero means current or don't move, as in don't move from what has already been specified in argument two. So it'll show the quarterly totals even when your hierarchy slider is set to month. If you replace zero with quarter, i.e. the string for the integer, you'll see the values don't change because that's what it's doing. Now, what happens if we change zero to month? Because now I'd like to see the monthly values instead of those quarterly totals. And again, you'll see that I wind up with no data. And this is another place that I kind of got tripped up when I was learning Navigate Period. I expected setting month to show me the totals for the month. But again, we see no data because of what the expression is looking for. It's got the data for the quarter, but it's searching for the same month in the previous quarter, which it can't find. So in order to help you understand argument four and make sure that's clear, let's run through a few more examples with this new set of knowledge that we have. I'm going to change the expression to year zero zero and move the slider. So 
So year means give me a year's worth of data, and zero in ARG3 means stay in the current year, and zero in ARG4 means stay current for how we're displaying it, i.e. display the values for the year. And now if I move the hierarchy slider, you'll see that I'm still going to see the value for the current years, no matter where I go, whether I take it all the way down to month or not, I'm still always going to see the value for the year, and that is happening because of that fourth argument, zero. Now, if I change that to quarter, it's always going to show me the values for the quarter, even if I'm down at the month, and then that makes a little bit more sense there, and I'm going to get an error if I come up. Let's do one more iteration of this. And I'm going to move my slider down, and I'm going to set this to month. And that makes sense. I'm seeing the monthly totals until I move that hierarchy slider up to quarter. And again, that's similar to the other things that we've seen, that now we get errors because we've gone above what we have specified data to come in as. So in summary, you can think of argument two is how much data to pull in, and then argument three is how to step left or right, and then argument four is an option that you can use when the hierarchy navigation kind of gets tricky, but you need to see the values at a certain level. To wrap up, I want to show you a practical use of navigate period that should tie everything together. I'm gonna to click over into the next page. Now, at the start of the video, I explained that Spotfire works with the amount of data specified in ARG2. So if your ARG2 is set to year, it's bringing in a year's worth of data and working with it. Because the expression works this way, it's useful for calculating things like a year-to-date average. So let's take a look at my expression. To calculate a year-to-date average, I start by summing up gas production. The value is then passed to a placeholder called value which is then divided by a count of axis x, resulting in a year-to-date average. And I'll even calculate it manually to show you. So here you can see that we start in January with 307,675, and that's going to be my average since I only have one month of data. Now I'm going to add up January and February, divide by 2, and you can see that the value in the calculator matches February. Let's do that for three months. And again, we match the total. Now let's look at 2019. We know that the calculation has reset because my January value of 251 shows up on the January bar. And then if I start adding up the months, you can see that the calculation has essentially reset and will calculate a new average for every year. And that explains navigate period.